Sup, it's Hallie. Welcome back to Thea the Crimson Eclipse. Oh goodness. This might be our last session with it, but I don't really know. So, after last time, uh, I went around the uh, Arena Thale, and I had said I was going to grind on that one final challenge since it was so quick and easy. But whenever I selected it again, it gave me a handy little message that says, well, once you've completed a challenge once, you can't complete it again for more points. So, so that didn't work. Uh, what I ended up doing to get the rest of the rewards from the arena was uh, grinding on the penguins fight instead, which was still easy enough. Um, I found out that the third penguin is Dale, <laughs> uh, whenever Furion checked them for me, and they were all aquatic foes instead of humanoids. But... Goodness, partway through, grinding up the BP I needed for the remaining rewards, the game softlocked. Yes, it seems what happened was, um, I was trying to put in my, like, hero's actions at the start of the fight, since everybody gets to go right off the bat, but the enemies were going at the same time, and when I tried to put in Marsha's, uh, she was attacked by Penguinadia with her ice attack, and for whatever reason, that affects their ATB bar, it like cuts it in half, so it made it such that it was Marsha's turn, but it wasn't Marsha's turn anymore. So like I was in the middle of making a selection for Marsha, but I couldn't choose it any longer because it wasn't her turn. And therefore the game could not advance because she could not take her turn anymore. It, it was a big mess. But anyway, I got the last of the stuff. And as far as I know, there's nothing else to find anywhere else in the game except in the final dungeon. So that's where we're going today. Oh, and dear viewer, you'll be pleased to know, I already set up my party in advance of all this stuff. I tried to give everybody the armor and uh, atlas and whatnot that I want them to have. And I'm going to try not to adjust that stuff at any point so for the rest of this session and possibly the rest of the playthrough. Um, oh, there was one thing I forgot. Um... The description said that this, this final dungeon is quote-unquote exhausting, so I guess uh, whether we get done today or not depends on how exhausting it is. But there was one thing I didn't have. I didn't, where was it? That. I ended up using one of these by accident in the penguin fight. Okay, now we're good. We're all squared away. I knew, I know I had nine of something that I needed to have ten of, and it was that. Except it was 19 and it had to be 20. Whatever. We're good to go. We're gonna jump into this dungeon and see what it has to throw at us. Oh, and I set the battle theme to Altilia because I realized that since we changed the battle theme before we got to Altilia, we kind of didn't really hear that battle theme basically at all. So let's see. There's these two sparkles here. Uh, this light will take us to the treasure room. So, I don't even know what this is. Let's just check a look. Oh, there's a guy right here. Oh, hello. A magical seal. It can be removed with a alpha seal. Okay. So we need to find these alpha seals. Oh, I get the, the red ones beta seals. Oh, no, there are omega seals. Look at all these boxes we need Neon to, or not Neon, Furion to open. Okay. Well, it's reassuring to see our last Weaponomicon page there, as well as a bunch of Gaia shards. So we've got to get a bunch of keys to advance in the treasure room. Alright, alright. I think I'm catching what it's drawing. We're going to the Corridor of Dawn. Oh, there's just goodies all lying around. Uh, and I guess we're gonna get into a bunch of forced combat. Inside the extra mordial, you'll find 12 large atlas fog clouds, and every one of those will drop an alpha, alpha, alpha seal that will let you open one of the chests in the treasure room. But that room is split in many sectors, accessible only by using a omega seal. Okay, it would be an omega seal, and you don't need to add a TED to split. It's already past tense. There are three Omega Seals in the Extra Mordial, and you must defeat the special Atlas Fog Clouds, the Violet Ones, that you'll find across this dungeon. 
the fog in front of you is the weakest of the Extramordial, so if you can't beat it, well, leave and return with a better party and equipment. Also remember that even if a character reaches level 99, he or she can improve his or her statistics by increasing the experience points to the top. Hmm, alrighty. A character with, uh, is that 1 mil- or 10 million each? 10 million XP? Yeah, 10 million XP against the Ape- Aperon mode that maximizes his or her statistics to the maximum level. Okay. Well, we're 25 levels away from max, so I hope we're okay. okay. That's a big this. fish. Uh, okay. So, what do we want to do here? Hm? Oh, Ritter's frozen. That's bad. Hmm. I'm gonna neutral assist you. You... Try to cook the fish? Alright, that was okay damage. Um... That's about you, Aegis. Well, they're hitting pretty hard already. That's kind of scary. Uh... That's about you, Lena Tifa. Okay, yeah. Burn them. Hmm. We're hitting hard, but we're kind of taking it. This is also my weakest party, so... You know. You know, let's try it. Let's... Well, the, the little guys took some decent damage from that. Uh, you are in kind of bad shape. Let's boost the mastery bar. While you patch him up. You keep burning. Spread around that damage. Okay. I believe I set my mastery bar to restore SP. So we can kind of be self-sufficient in that regard. Like, as long as it's all the way up there, we'll be... Oh, it died already. We'll be recovering, and it'll be fine. Oh, we got beat up. Heal, Nadia. There you go. Okay, and you can Lunativa her. Yeah, see, now we're getting our SP back, and we can just deal with things. All right. Oh, fish. I, I, mm, I kind of don't want to spend Neon's SP, but it, she can still afford to. Also, Radiant Abyss. I have a feeling this dungeon is not going to screw around. <laughs> I'll be damned if I'm going to take some guff from a Koi. Uh, everyone's fully healed right now. I think that she already gets this automatically. Oh, but I can give it to someone else. And you know what? Just Vampiria. Hit the fish. Ooh, he got a crit. Look at that. Um, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, it took so little damage from that. <laughs> you, we've got the bar up already. Don't gotta worry about it. Yeah, how about you? We don't. We didn't want ice. Fire was doing okay damage. Yeah, actually, fire seems like its weakness, so we'll keep that up. You, hail Rudra. Hits really hard when he wants to. Hmm. Seems fine. Owie. Man, she's got a meter again already. I guess some of them do have exceed plus, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Vacuum did really well on this. Uh, I can guard. Dale's about to get her turn, so she can fix him right up. 
Yeah, a herbal. I guess you can do it too. There you go. I'd like to avoid having to leave this dungeon as much as possible. <laughs> oh, I probably should have used Radiant Abyss. Well, we'll use Ultra Grab for stuff like that. Die, fish. So I guess this dungeon is just gonna be a whole bunch of super bosses. That was a lot of damage, dude. Yo, Radiant Abyss. It's dead. All right. Well, if that was the weakest one, we weren't exactly struggling there. They all leveled up. My goodness. There's monsters too? Regular monsters around? Huh. Well, we'll see what they're about. Okay. Yeah, here's the Altilia battle theme. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get that mastery bar up there. How about you? Hmm. We'll try Grim Void. Three thousand. Okay, that's acceptable. Crazy. I'm not used to seeing Neon actually do damage with his fists. Uh, I was gonna neutralize this, but I think that might be more important. Get that bar up there. Alright, now we'll neutralize this the other guy. Cause this just makes his own attacks more effective in general. Uh there you go. And you can chop. I guess we're gonna be seeing Nadia's uh big move a lot. <laughs> Alright, that guy's dead. Yeah, see, we're, we're keeping up just fine. I do want to keep an eye on level ups so that we can distribute them evenly for no apparent reason. <laughs> but that was why I expect everybody before this session so that we wouldn't have to worry about who has what going into fights. They should all just be good to go in general. And I don't think that will struggle too much. Oh, that wasn't what I meant to do. I'm silly. Okay, Ganyan. I don't know what that said. Didn't do much damage to her, she's fine. We'll make sure she's fine. There. Ah, uh, just one. I can't even make sense of what this creature's, like, physiology is. Uh, I want you to guard, because I want Dale to heal everybody. There, now it's back up. Oop, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> I only might have one of them attack to get the bar back where it belongs. Oh, you guys suck. Heal everyone again. <laughs> okay. Die thing. Yeah. Got it. You'll have to do better if you wanna beat me. They level up again. Makes me feel like maybe we're too low level for this. No, it's perfect. Hey look, there's a bomb for Dale to throw. 
All right, I don't actually remember what the levels of the other people are, so maybe we'll be poking in and out a lot. Doesn't seem like it's too hard of a place to navigate, though. And we can change parties right here, so not like that's a big deal. So let's see. The other people who are not in the party are 82, 79, and 79. Okay, so we've actually got a ways to go before we have to worry about this. 79 is kind of a tall order. Let's go! Let's keep it up. Oh, I wonder if that... Actually, let me just see real quick. Oh, it was a one-time use. Okay, but can I <laughs> make it come back by going through here? Yes, how arbitrary. Good to know that we've got that if we really need it. Let's go a little deeper. Let's see. Yeah, oh, I was gonna fight him after I got the box, but. It's time to go back to Gold Knights. Owie, they hurt. Okay, well. Mastery bar. You should heal our friend Rudra. You should. Actually, yeah, why don't you do that? For Nadia, so she boosts it even more. And she can use Arden's. Hopefully that works. Thousand damage at each? Yeah, that's probably worthwhile. Uh, yeah, do it. We'll get it back. A little less shy about using this on non-boss monsters. Like, wow, that took a lot of damage from that, actually. Look, see, they're already dying. They're already dying! I'll slap you to death, because I don't respect you anymore. <laughs> Gold Knight's got nothing. Who else is in this dungeon? Hmm? Who else is out here? Let this be a lesson to you. We are leveling up so quickly. So we're up to, yeah, 76s and 77s already. They've leveled up on every fight so far. <laughs> That's a lot of herbal remedies. We'll see if I actually need them at any point. Oh no, not the gold knights again. All right, hold on. You do that. You do that. So you can burn them, you can yeah, a couple people are chipped. Might as well heal them all. Mastery Bliss. Get that bar up there. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna do it. Won't break their gravity. Yeah, that rocks against, like, regular enemies. Really good. Now I need to like recover our stuff. Our SP. He'll run around. He's dying. And you, um. Actually, you don't need to worry about much. Just keep slapping. Get our SP back. Well, that was rude. They one-shot her. Still not gonna respect you, Knight. She shall get back up. She'll be fine. I knew I wouldn't walk away from this fight from scratch. They're still leveling up after every single battle. That is so crazy to me. <laughs> like, why? It's fine. It's fine. See, she's all good. Ta-da! Okay, so it has multiple layers. I do believe that's everything on this one. Oh? Do we need Seth? Do we need to bring Seth over here? Erg. Alright, let's go. 
I see how you're gonna be. Dungeon. Swing. Eh. Even in the final dungeon, we still need Seth's legs. How annoying. <laughs> 